Actually, I'm uh, by profession, I'm a yoga trainer and as well psychologist. More than 15 years, I work with Indian Air Force and different newspaper also. And uh, with interest of my daughters, I came first in the you know to touch in uh, cow. I used to go very uh, sooner, like very uh, frequently in Kormangla, but I I could not found the proper cows, desi cows. Then I went directly to Gujarat. There I took uh, these gear cows with me from Junagadh, Gujarat, and different different part of the Gujarat. Particular we have Junagadh cows at present with us, and uh, um, Jamnagar cows. Uh, three uh, type of cow we have: gear, pure gear, and one is um, one one breed from Wali Maharashtra we have. So totally, how how many cows now? I have total seven, seven cows. Seven cows. Seven, seven cows. Seven desi cows. Seven desi cows. All are desi cows. Why okay. why do you prefer gear cows to other cows? Uh, it's my interest. No, nothing. You can take uh, any. You, you you can choose. But I like the gear. They are very emotional, and uh, they can um, children can touch. My daughter can touch. And even if you comes, they will not you know hey or something. Nothing. They are very friendly. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, can you tell me the whole gear? Uh, How do you go about making that? We milk? make uh, we collect milk first morning and evening milk. Then uh, we boil the milk. Uh, after boil, one we take two boils. After two boils, uh, we uh, put little curd in that, so entire ghee will becomes curd. And within second or third day, we make uh, ghee. Okay. Uh, and you uh, use uh, a churning curd, process, from right? From the curd, from the curd, it comes uh, um, butter, and for um, from that butter, we boil. We boil in the. Um, we uh, try to prefer boil in the. Um, Wooden as well as uh, kanda, if it is available, but at present uh, it is not available due to rainy season. Okay, and uh, currently, uh, what do you feed your cows? I am feeding uh, grain grass. They are op uh, they are grazing in the open field, not uh, like um, farming field. But it, this open field is natural grass is there, nothing. And then uh, moong chilka, gehu chilka, we we give them. To, uh, approximate two kg. We won't give too much because if they if they eat uh, too much, if, if somebody is uh, taking the same cow, uh, same ghee and same, um, um, they may feel ma mild loss motion due to that. So we won't give that, and we give jaggery to them for the proper um, support of calcium and iron, and we give uh, for the pure iron. We uh, for drinking water we provide them uh, huge tub for the um, uh, that is made by iron only. So that is source of iron. So and. Um, In the if there is no rainy season, then we provide ragi wool. Okay. So one more thing. Uh, sometimes uh, the ghee is a little more thinner than what you get in the market. Uh, it will be thinner because if they are grazing the open field and um, we never give them. If you if you wanted to make little more thick, you add some supplement uh, like salt. You add. We won't give any additional excess thing which harm to cows either human beings. We won't give that. So it's basically the nature of the milk are, that ha, makes giving, it uh, ha, thin, ha. right? It is natural. Nothing, not, no extra is added. That's why it's not thick. In in the season of um, when Bangalore temperature is a solid, a solid 20, 24, 28, you will feel little thick, thick milk, uh, okay. th thick ghee from our side. And one more thing, um, few cow who are like um, uh, dropping the milk, like eight, nine months they are giving, their milk will be little thicker. Mm -hmm. And uh, cow who are recently given baby, like two month, three month. They will. Their milk will be much thin. You will say, "Oh, yo, you mixed water." So it, it looks like it's two different things. Okay. okay. If you mix both cows, mix it will be total overall means average 